Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Are you, like me, educated in only the finest schools that England has to offer? Yeah. Then, also like me, maybe you're in need of a little extra knowledge. That's where Draconic Treaties come in, so let's get into it. Simple fact, there are never enough knowledge points. Wherever I get some unlock that I've been after for ages, I then look and I'm like, oh, I just need another 5, 10, 15 points and I can get this thing. There's always something else. I am never satisfied. It's a curse. And that is where our friendly inscription profession can come in handy. Because these wonderful people can craft for us once a week, an extra knowledge point using one of these. In this case, it happens to be a Draconic Treaties for Engineering, but they are for all professions. Now, fear not, the weekly lockout that you can see here only applies to that specific treaties. We only have one engineering per week, but you are free to use these on all your professions. That's fine. You can have one engineering, one tailoring, whatever. But how do we go about gaining these. Can I simply walk to the auction house? No, that would be too easy. Instead, we must use the new crafting system, the crafting orders located here in Veldraken. Now this is between the tier where the bank and the auction house are located and the lower tier for the professions as if you were heading towards the pet battle person and also the mount changing area look i'm not a tour guide okay but it's here on the map there you go now talk to any one of the three here and they will open up the crafting order window simply type in draconic or to be fair there's a lot of things with draconic in the title treaties and you will see a list of the items that can be crafted simply click on the one that applies to you and away you go. I will say, if you're doing this as a guild order or private, you can actually select to give them nothing and just ask for the order. At least put in the metal stuff. Come on, don't make them use their supply. And if you're going to do that, at least generously tip. Now, on the flip side, you are an inscriber. How can we get our hands on these wonderful items? Well, wonder no more, you marvellous people. This is going to require us to have... Yeah, a load of points. Fuck. Specifically, we need 10 points in archiving. Then, another 10 points in shared knowledge. I can already hear you groaning. Worry not. After that, we head into Draconic Treaties. It's worth noting here, it doesn't matter what level you use to craft these. It can be the worst level one crap literally a bear could have come up wiped its hiney all over the flower you're using it doesn't matter or it could literally have been touched by a titan themselves blessed with all the powers of the wow cosmic universe what you're going to produce at the end of it is still going to be the same what i'm trying to say is just use the crap on these don't worry about using your gold three star stuff there's no point now you will, when you first learn these, only have access to one treaties, and that is for your own profession, inscription, nothing else. You will need to craft the inscription one, and then hopefully that will unlock the next. And basically just by crafting more treaties, you have a chance to unlock, well, more treaties. I will say from personal experience, if you're thinking about doing this, but you haven't already, and you're, let's say, level 50 to 60 in inscription, ah. Uh, Good luck. It is super hard. I don't know why, but it is so hard getting from level 65 to like 100 with inscription. It is nightmare fuel. You literally have to rely on people putting crafting orders in, and nobody's doing that because you really need things that are going to recost ridiculous sums. Either in money, or you're going to need sparks of engineering. You don't want to waste your own on that. It's just, it's a nightmare. You are far better off just literally grabbing one of your alts and giving it inscription getting it to 25 and then unlocking archiving if you don't already and heading down that way. It just, I know it sounds stupid, but welcome to the new crafting system. And that's it. 
one extra knowledge point per week, which, hey, will soon add up over time. It is worth, I will say, logging into your alts, bringing them to Veldraken via the portal in your respective capitals, and then taking their profession, so making sure it's at Dragon Isles level, and then basically ordering one of these per week. Even if you're not playing the ult, at least have these. Make sure you use it, because you only use one a week. But each week, just use it, keep banking them up, and then eventually when you do play with that character, and you do hit level 5 of their profession, you have a couple of extra skill points there waiting for you, because every little helps. Probably trademark the Tesco bots that come after me. Um, other stores are available? Uh, but, but that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Laters, everyone.